We are at the intersection where ancient history and modern world harmoniously intermingle in a delightful dance of culture, cuisine, and endless discovery. For the next 48 hours, we invite you to embark on a journey through time, exploring the ancient treasures and vibrant spirit that make this Greek capital an unforgettable destination. Athens, with its rich ancient heritage and warm Mediterranean charm, offers a unique blend of the old and contemporary, where every corner holds an ancient story waiting to be told and a memory waiting to be made. So as we step into this wondrous city, let's embrace the magic of Athens and immerse ourselves in its ancient wonders. Get ready to uncover the secrets of this vibrant metropolis. Ancient history and adventure are just around the corner. Athens awaits, and we are ready to make every moment count. Welcome to Athens. We are currently on our way to the train station in Helkida Station, where we'll take the train from Helkida to Athens and transfer at the metro. We have a couple stops and another transfer on the metro to make it to Monasteraki Square, where our hotel is. We're staying at the A for Athens. A for Athens is a boutique hotel located in the heart of Athens. It has a rooftop bar, very friendly staff, and just minutes from many, many sites. Okay, we've arrived in Athens, and this is our view. And this is uh, kind of the square, and there's a church, a couple churches, and the flea market, and it's uh, it's very hot. We just came on train from Evia. We took a train to the metro, and then we took two stops. We took Syntagma to Monasteraki. So we're going to get unwind here. Oh, look at the Greek flag up there. Beautiful. And uh, maybe go have a drink. Vacation begins right now. I'm going to do a quick room tour. You come in, there's an elevator right here, very small. One person with a bag or two persons without a bag. Come up, tiny, or you can walk. It's only one floor. We're on the second floor. We're in room 22. When you enter, you have to put your key inside or else the lights and the air conditioning will not work. So you put your room card in and there will be light. And when you walk right in, you have a little kind of closet with uh, robes, slippers and a safe with an iron, an ironing board, and lots of storage up above. And you come in here, you have the bathroom, nice beautiful sink with some sh uh, soaps, shampoo, body wash, conditioner, towels down below, and a toilet. And I don't know if this is actually a bidet because I don't see any spray thing, but there's little, hand little handles over here, so it must be something. We'll have to figure it out later. Uh, they have a nice shower here with a rainfall shower head. And then the best thing about this here is a view is the Acropolis is a view. While you can shower, you can look at the Acropolis. It's 2,500 years old. Pretty epic. So there's a see-through glass thing here. And then it's a mirror on the other side. So there's that. And then over here you have like a spot to put. You can sit or you can put your luggage. It's also some nice decorative chess pieces here and a mirror, nice artwork on the wall. And you get a coffee bar. Um, the coffee bar, you have espresso and a cappuccino. They also have chai and they have a teapot, the kettle that it will get hot water at nighttime if you like to do that. And then there's a nice little, uh, like a serving board, it says vineyard on it, for love, loves of wine. And then this, you just pop your capsule in, good to go. You have a Nice, full, uh, this looks like a queen or a king bed with some towels. You have a phone with a plug on each side of the bed, four pillows, and then there's a sitting chair here that is awesome. And I'm going to take full advantage of this because the view in this room is probably one of the best I've had in a hotel. The Acropolis is right there. Really spectacular. Beautiful Greek flag flown in the wind up there. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yep. So nice. And then this is Monastiraki Square here. A couple of churches, and then there's 
uh, some sites, like ancient sites across the way there. And we came in from the metro, Monastiraki Station. It's actually really simple, um, but people are coming and going here in the square. They have like a flea market and there's some fruits over there. We're going to go there and explore uh, in just a couple minutes, but uh, I'll show you the rest of the room. Um, we have a chair here uh, for sitting and then there's like a little little like living room area here and you can always use that as a bed to be honest it's like a day bed and then you have some zeus and uh looks like maybe zeus or aristotle or socrates and then there's a tv here in the corner a little table with some lavender really nice and then the wall is like bluish kind of style uh but yeah this room will do just fine for the next couple days and try to start the morning with a sunrise of the acropolis because it's freaking awesome. This is really nice. And then they also have a rooftop bar. You get a free glass of wine when you get here. So we're going up to the rooftop now and check that out and take some pictures and maybe see some sights before they close today. Okay, we're at the rooftop bar here at the A for Athens. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's got a beautiful view of the Acropolis and Monastiraki Square. And you have to reserve your table. It's very hard to get spot because it's limited. Um, but really nice. And there's actually rooftop bars all around. And one there, and one over there. There's one behind us that doesn't have views. But we're having our drinks. After a long day of travel, we're heading over to Ellie's Cafe. First stop, coffee. Okay, so this is the this is a symbol. If you want to come here, you go to Ellie's Cafe, you get lots of flowers. Hi. Okay. okay, we are at Ellie's Cafe. Of course, because Ellie. And this is our first stop in Athens. So this is uh, the Instagrammable cafe. This is a mascarpone tiramisu type dessert. And then they have Instagrammable kind of stuff here. Flowers everywhere. And uh, really cool pictures. Very cool. And they even have a bar. We need some caffeine after all our travels. I'm gonna try this out and then my coffee's coming soon. All right, so. I tried the tiramisu, it is excellent, super creamy, very um, light, and not too sweet, which I really like. We have two drinks here, I have the pink cappuccino, this is their signature drink, and then we have a Freddo espresso as well. So we're going to enjoy these, and uh, let me try a drink right now actually. the flowers behind me. <laughs> Yamas. All right, so as you can see, I finished my espresso. And while it is a highly Instagrammable, probably one of the most important Instagrammable places in Athens, the coffee was amazing. Uh, and also the pastries. My pastry, so amazing. It wasn't a traditional tiramisu, but it had like a praline cream and it was just so light, lightly sweet, not too sweet, a little coffee in there. I could get another one right now and be perfectly happy, but we have lots of more places to go, and that's what we're gonna do. We gotta go to the Agora, we gotta go to the Stoa, and Amy loves her Freddo Espresso. Cappuccino. Freddo Cappuccino. Okay. Okay, we've arrived at the Stoa, Pokile? I don't even know. This is the painted porch. And uh, it kind of looks like a construction zone, but I think they're still digging it. Um, this is where Stoicism began. And uh, these are the footsteps of Aristotle and Socrates and all of their ideas. So hopefully they make it better and you can visit, but this is the Stoa Pokile, the painted porch. 
Kitty. Cat counter. Okay, we're going to the ancient Ogora. Let's see how much it is. I think it's only 10 euro. Okay, it's 10 euro per person. Of course, this weekend is free after tonight. But since we're here tonight, we wanted to do the Agora and see the marketplace and the, um, all the sites here and walk around. It looks beautiful. In ancient times, you would have rubbed elbows with Socrates and Plato in this very location. The ancient Agora was kind of the heart of the city's civic, commercial, and social life. Back in ancient times, this was a gathering place and a marketplace where the Athenians would come to engage each other and uh, it played a pivotal role in the development of democracy and philosophy. I'm just gonna walk down here and capture what it looks like. There's really nobody here. A couple people trickling through, but it's late afternoon. And uh, this is a recreation of what it looked like. Look at this beautiful tile down below and the columns. They don't have intricate designs, but this is really cool. What's this? Head of goddess, Artemis. <sighs> Beautiful. Torso of a woman. Hmm. This is from, wow. <laughs> okay, so this is the torso of Athena and it is from 430 BC. Wow, amazing. 430 to 420 BC, that's friggin' awesome. Okay, this was a voting machine that people would cast their ballot inside of this like stone tablet and um, then they would spin a little ball and select it. And then you also have pottery here with council members here and it has their names on them. So these coins were used to carry the dead to the afterlife. And this number seven here is actually on the one euro coin today. Here we have a ancient barbecue grill. Um, they would put this over the fire and they're able to grill. And there's also one right over here. It's kind of terracotta, I think. All terracotta, beautiful, beautiful pieces of terracotta. All carefully put back together. So nice. This is from the third century AC and it's a statue of Apollo. central agora right now and uh, there's a bunch of bases of columns here and this was the kind of sh shops and stuff here middle stoa this is a well right here Birds in Athens are really something. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I saw a really bright green one, looked like a parrot. Wow. So this was a column that held a flame for the Athenians. Pretty neat. Okay, we're walking up some steps here. Getting some elevation. We're looking out over the Agora here, and you can see in the background is a big hill there. That is Agrapapu Hill. Like a Betis Hill. Is that Athena was carrying a large slab of rock, and somebody came and told her some news, and she was so aghast that she dropped the rock, and it became Agrapapu Hill. Like a Betis easy. Hill. You can take a funicular to the top. There's a restaurant, and uh, the views of Athens are spectacular. I don't know if we're gonna get there, but we shall see. 
The viewpoint from here to the Acropolis is getting more spectacular as we go higher. We're going to go there tomorrow and see it all, but from here it's really kind of admirable. And man, the birds are freaking awesome. I never thought there would be so many beautiful birds here in Athens. It's really, really impressive. Okay, the city is way better to watch in person and see it in person. We watched a lot of videos before we came and uh, it just doesn't do it justice until you get here. This is so, so spectacular. Uh, I don't even have words to describe it. You have the Stoa of Adelos over there in the background, which was rebuilt. You have the middle Agora and the marketplace there. And now we're heading up to this spectacular statue. So amazing, all of it. So this was built between 449 and 415 BCE. And it is a temple for worship, temple of Hephaestus. This was one of the most well-preserved temples of, of Athens. And you can see here, it looks spectacular. Look how the columns are like stacked up on a top of each other. And they said that the columns are in a Doric, Doric style. So cool. It is late in the day, but we're being kind of pushed out to the entrance again. So we may come back. It's actually quite impressive uh, to see all of this. And here we have a cat of ancient Greece. One-eyed cat, one of the many. So the Temple of Hephaestus was built to honor the gods associated with craftsmanship and skilled labor. It was believed to have served as a place for worship, but may also have been used for civic functions. And uh, man, this would be a nice place to have a party. So they close at seven, and we thought they closed at eight, but um, it's just so much to see at this just one site here. And uh, so, but it's a good start to our 48 hours in Athens. I'm literally walking on rocks that have been around for thousands of years. Like, I don't know, give or take 2,500 years. And this is where democracy started. Very shivers down my spine, basically. And uh, it's just so impressive. This is where democracy started. This is where communal Western world kind of began. People gathered and they discussed great ideas, which we still do today. So we can thank the ancients. Okay, on our way out, we have a statue of Emperor, Roman Emperor Hadrian. We're working, we're working. We're going, we're going. That is the great drainage right there from the from the water. And a cat. Okay, we, uh, we're being pushed out, but I, I spy a turtle walking through the ancient Agora. I bet they won't kick him out. Hey, buddy. Hi. It's a turtle. Yeah. It's a turtle. It's just so impressive just to think of all the rocks dragged here from wherever they came from. There's so many, so many. And then it's carved marble 2,500 years ago. These pups are watching over Hadrian's library. Good dogs. I think it's closed for the night, but that's what it looks like here. Really spectacular. This is the Gate of Athena. And there's a flute player nearby that's making it really cool. And then the sunset is right there. This bar. Wow, that's a really nice bar. Maybe on the way back. There's a puppy. Skilos. Okay, we're at Falafelas. And they have meatballs and falafel. We almost got the meatballs, but they had to fry them. So we didn't want to wait, so we got falafel. 
and uh, took a bite already and it's freaking delicious. After seeing all the sights, we went to a restaurant called Gaston that had traditional Greek cooking and it was delicious. The drinks, the food, so good. Highly recommend. Okay, we got the Saganaki, flaming cheese, and uh, looks delicious. So freaking delicious. The bread, the cheese, the lemon. Oh my god, awesome. Alright, we got roasted pig. Roasted pig with lemon potatoes, very traditional. And we also got moussaka with uh, cheese cream. Looks friggin' delicious. Okay, so this is absolutely friggin' delicious. We both agree this, the pork is a little bit salty, but it kind of makes it taste good. And if you mix it with the potatoes, the lemon potatoes is like unbelievable. And then this might be the best, best moussaka that I've ever had. So good. Look at that. Potato, meat, zucchini, eggplant, cream sauce, and then that's a feta, feta cream with tomatoes. Unbelievable. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. After dinner, we went to the famous Lucamadas because when you're in Athens, you must go here. They were so incredible. Look at the line. The famous Lucamatics. Okay, so the outside is honey and cinnamon, which is traditional. And then the inside is a Bugatza cream, which is a traditional dessert and it's like a custard. It is a little grainy, but I still think it's delicious. I give these nine out of 10. What do you give them? Eight out of 10. Okay. I don't like the custard. Yeah. What do you think of the donut? Good. And I think I would just get it the traditional way with the- No inside. No inside. Okay. Okay, I take that back. I might even give it a 10 out of 10. It was that freaking good. Love it. I would even do it regular, no filling, but I love the Bugatti cream. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Bye bye, Lucamades. Oh, what a first day. We are wiped out, and it's almost 10 o'clock. And we're standing over Monastiraki. I don't know what these things are. You see those blue things? They're like zipping up into the sky and ruining my shot of the Acropolis. Um, we went to the, uh, the Agora today. We also saw the gate of um, Athena. We went to dinner at Gaston. They were filming a vacation, like a advertisement. And um, we did a lot in a really short amount of time and it's kind of overwhelming. So we're gonna get some rest. We're going to start early tomorrow, and we're going to the Parthenon. It is hot here. If you come, make sure you drink lots of water. Look at this crowd. The streets are bumping. Probably. Okay. We are going to get some water, aka Nero in Greek, and uh, stay hydrated. And we'll start this out tomorrow. We're getting up bright and early and we're walking over to see the Acropolis and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll see you in the morning. In the next video, we're gonna be going bright and early to the Acropolis and Parthenon way up on top of Athens. We're also going to check out the Temple of Zeus. We're going to go to the Olympic Stadium that started the modern Olympics and some other places. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, 
thumbs up and notification bell so you don't miss a single moment. Are you enjoying this series? Comment below and let us know. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye dudes.